This week's word of the week is going to be uh, amperage. Now, amperage is a very common term that's um, connected with shielded metal arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding, because the main control on a TIG welder or stick welder is going to be amperage, increase or decrease your amperage. We're going to talk about it with regards to gas metal arc welding. I had a guy the other day, and he, uh, he said, What's, where's the amperage on a mid welder? Because he was writing a procedure, and of course, there's a little box that says amperage. And I said, well, there is no amperage on a on a MIG welder. Well, that's not exactly true. There's an amperage. There's just no control that reads out amperage. So what are the two controls on a gas metal arc welder or a MIG welder? We got down here in blue, wire feed, speed, and voltage. So there's no amperage. Most MIG welders, all they're going to have is a wire feed and a voltage. So I asked him, I said, do you know wh which controls the uh, amperage? And he said he had no idea. He said, you never told us this. And I said, well, let's put it on the table then. Where's the amperage with respect to gas metal arc welding? And it's right here, here in your wire feed speed. The wire feed speed is going to be in inches per minute, and that's just how fast the wire is coming out. But as you turn the wire feed speed up, you're also increasing your amperage. Now, a lot of the characteristics are just the same as a stick and TIG welder, and we're going to go over that here in a minute. But real quick, let's just define what amperage is. Amperage over here is the total number of electrons flowing. It's how much electricity is flowing through. So now when you're talking about amperage and the, the dangers of electricity, this is dangerous. It's less than one amp will kill you. So um, amperage is the total number of electrons flowing. And when people talk about electricity, they always compare it to water, right? So amperage would be like the amount of gallons of water flowing through a hose, all right? Now voltage, which is the other control on the uh, mid weller besides wire feed speed, which is really amperage, uh, is electrical pressure, how much pressure is going through. So will voltage kill you? It kill it, but you have to have a massive amount of voltage uh, maybe a heart problem or something. If you get tased by the police, their taser is going to have hundreds of thousands of volts, right? And it's not going to kill you. It's just going to incapacitate you and it hurts, right? So uh, amperage is the total number of electrons flowing, how many, how much is going through the, uh, the electric line, and this is electrical pressure. So over here, I, I, it's a couple of slang terms, not really slang terms actually, but other terms that amperage can be, current amps, Amps, current, amperage, all of these right here are the same exact thing. So when you're seeing stuff on a welding procedure that says amps, they're just talking about the current, the electric, or the amperage. So all these three terms, they're all the same thing, right? So as you're moving this wire feed speed up and down, what's happening? Let's think about it like uh, stick and dig. An increase in amperage or wire feed speed, because that's what's going to read out on a gas metal arc welder. It's going to increase your penetration. So if you're having trouble, uh, I don't know, getting through an open root groove or something, increase your wire feed speed. That's also going to increase your amperage and increase your penetration. Uh, heat increase. Anytime you're turning amperage up, it's putting more heat into the weld. So a heat increase seems pretty obvious, but that's what it's doing. It's turning the heat up. That's why you're getting an increase in penetration. Uh, with MIG welding, it's a little bit different as far as transfers go, though, because as you increase your amperage, you can go into spray transfer, right? So you got to kind of watch that because if you're in a, uh, a situation where you have a welding procedure and it's calling you out to be in short circuit, you don't want to get into spray transfer. That's bad. You're, you're basically violating the welding procedure. Um, now, in reverse, if you go the other way, so let's cross this out. Let's say we're going to decrease our amperage. Now your penetration is going to go down, your heat's going to decrease, and you can come out of spray transfer and go into short circuit. So most people don't think of amperage with gas metal arc welding, but there is an amperage and it's controlled. Support going out very easy, and it's controlled right here by your wire feed speed. So the main thing to know, take away from this, is wire feed speed controls amperage with gas metal arc welding. I know a lot of people don't go over it because it's not actually on. The machine. I wouldn't say it's a super bad thing if you don't know uh, that the amperage is controlled by the wire feed speed. It's probably like a five out of one in time scale, uh, but you should know it. So hopefully that clears up what controls the amperage with a gas metal arc welding or gas metal arc welder. Um, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll get back next week.